My name is Vin Singh. I am a Wing Chun practitioner and a chiropractor. I've been studying Wing Chun for about 33 years. Uh, if you see things that I do in my Wing Chun system that you don't normally see, that's okay. There are at least 12, maybe 13 different lineages Wing Chun from uh, Vietnamese versions to Malaysian versions, mainland China version, the Hong Kong version, the Yip Man version, which is the most widely disseminated. And as far as I know, this version of Wing Chun is none of them. Certain Wing Chun systems like to, my opponent immediately knows, hey, something went wrong. Yep. And he might flinch and he might tighten up to try and get ready for that next hit. In this system, he may not realize that he's out of position. As I work with him, okay, there's no hard crash. It might scare people initially, but it also uses up a lot of energy that you don't necessarily need when you're Mm -hmm. And it also gives us a lot of feedback. I don't want my opponent to have a whole lot of feedback. Vince used to tell me stories of training. He would learn how to do a wide based out kind of Tai Chi-esque horse dance in training. But this was only done for what reason, Vince? Training purposes only. You need the leg strength to do it. When I would train, I would train in a deep horse dance, sometimes on top of cinder blocks to hold position and not lose my balance. So shifting around on, on plum blossom poles or cinder blocks, something where you have to maintain your balance. If you're asking, is it authentic Wing Chun? Well, authenticity is all about being yourself. So I'm here to give you what I know, and hopefully it helps you on your journey to become better martial artists and better Wing Chun practitioners.